This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good evening, I'm Javier Soto. Here's what's happening across Arizona. The state health department's reporting now more than 3,100 new coronavirus cases and sadly 43 more COVID-related deaths. As for our statewide vaccine rollout, 62% of our total population are now at least partially vaccinated. The Omicron COVID variant is now confirmed to be here in the United States. That patient who tested positive in California just returned from South Africa. They only have mild symptoms. In fact, many of the patients with that new variant have either mild or no symptoms at all. There have been no confirmed cases here in Arizona. Students at ASU were protesting on the Tempe campus, demanding school leaders withdraw Kyle Rittenhouse from online classes. Rittenhouse was recently found not guilty of shooting and killing two protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and injuring a third. In his testimony, you'll recall Rittenhouse said he was taking online classes at ASU. The university says that's no longer the case. He is not a current student. A family of five is now looking for a new place to stay after an early morning fire ripped through their apartment near 48th Street and McDowell. Now, thankfully, that family got out safely and the fire didn't spread into other units, but neighbors had to be evacuated. Fire crews are still trying to figure out what exactly sparked that flame. All right, looking at your seven day forecast right now, it continues to be warm out there. In fact, today, 85 degrees, so uh, it looks like it's going to cool off just a little bit up into the upper 70s, but we should be uh, pretty, uh, pretty clear out there with lots of sunshine and lots of warmth. Now, if you want more information about the stories we just mentioned, you can always download our Arizona's Family News app and make sure you subscribe on our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Javier Soto. Have a good night.